99% of the time, your dog may be very well behaved, but if provoked, any dog can become aggressive and bite. Despite the common belief that some breeds are more aggressive than others, statistics have shown that no one dog bites more than any other. So what happens if your dog bites or injures another person? Generally, you assume liability, but it all depends on what state you're living in. Many states have what's called a one-bite rule. This is a legal principle that shields people from liability the first time their pet injures a human being. If a pet owner knows their animal has a tendency to bite and does not control them, then they can be held liable for the damages. A dog bite case all depends on, on how vicious or ferocious the dog is. I've had cases involving pit bulls where the damages were hundreds of thousands of dollars. So how do you, as a pet owner, protect yourself? It's important to know your dog. Always be cautious when in public and around strangers. Even calm, well-behaved dogs can bite if they're annoyed. Here are some other safety tips. Keep your pet restrained. If they're socialized, only let them run free in a designated dog park. If your dog is aggressive, use a muzzle. Never leave young children unattended at home with a dog. Consider expanding your insurance policy to include dog bite liability. Your homeowner's or renter's insurance could cover dog bite liability, but check with your provider first. Some breeds are not covered. One of the most important things is to spay and neuter. It not only controls the pet population, but it also controls anger. For the Pet Report, I'm Mitch Wilder.